hello everyone and welcome to the milan vlog i was gonna say milan fashion week vlog but to be honest i'm just here for the vibes this is a vacation <laughs> because i only have a few things to go to here as far as like fashion week and like hanging with friends and sightseeing and shopping and just having a good time before heading to paris which that schedule is a lot more packed so I arrived at my hotel. I'm staying at um, Vico Milano Hotel. It's maybe about 15, 10 minutes from the Duomo. And it's so cute. It's in this little like alcove, almost like a little alley. I mean, I think it used to be like a family compound. There's only seven rooms in this super boutique hotel. Um, I'm staying in room five. Uh, so yeah, I'll give you guys a quick tour of the grounds. I'll show you outside. You come in, you go down the steps. That's where they have the reception. They also have a little bar area. It's also where they set up for breakfast. They have a little nook of tables and such and like the tiniest little workout room. And uh, then I'll show you my suite. I'm staying in, I think it's just called a basic suite. It's a uh, bi-level, two levels. And it's super cute. So I will go ahead and roll that footage for you guys and then we will come back and chat. We will get dressed and we will head out. I'm, I, I think today is just gonna be like sightseeing day, eating day, relaxing day. And then we'll get into the rest of the day. So let's roll that hotel footage. super cute as soon as I got in they made me like a cappuccino with some little fruits and such and waiting in my room was some Prosecco on ice which was very very sweet um yeah so I'm kind of I'm not too far from the city center but I didn't want to be so close to the action because this is kind of a vacation I wanted to relax and kind of decompress from New York Fashion Week but this place is super cute 
it's so cute and there's no like natural light in here no windows except for the skylights and they are just amazing they have little shades that you can draw so the sun does come in but this bathroom is epic there's a bidet now the last time i had a bidet was when i was in st kitts and i never used it but it's gonna get used this time and i'm gonna report back to you guys because i've actually never used a bidet before and now is the time now is the time but yes this hotel is super cute i love the decor like the little glass staircase the wooden stairs they use a lot of this like painted um brick lots of greens just beautiful deep rich colors it's a stunning hotel it is quite small but stunning a great place for like uh you know a romantic you know jaunt or a girl's weekend but yeah i love this place it's so cute so i'm getting myself together i did an everyday makeup face i have on my dior cherry rose glow um blush which is my favorite i'll link it down below for you guys remember your girl is a dior ambassador so you can use my code monroe 23 all capital letters for a free gift with purchase over 125 dollars at dior beauty and i'll link a few of my favorites i'm gonna pop on some of the dior rose glow oil in berry i like the like purple tinge and then I'm going to pop on this dress that I bought from Cos. I did a little bit of shopping when I was in New York. And this dress is super cute. I first saw it on Karen Brickchick on one of her vlogs. And she didn't buy the dress. And I was screaming at the screen like, girl, get the dress. But she didn't get it. But I went back and I got it because it's just a very chic dress. It's black, strapless, it has pockets. So I'm going to throw that on with my sandals. And then we're gonna walk to the Duomo and find a meal because I'm starving. We are six hours ahead of New York and your girl needs a carb. I need some carbs. All right, so I'm gonna get finished getting ready. Once I have my outfit on, I will show you guys the look and then we will do a wonderful fun day of exploring. By the way, I'm not naked. I am wearing my Skims house dress. Everyone always asks about the house dresses, especially when I post like my reels and YouTube shorts. I usually start in a house dress. 99.9% .9 of those house dresses are from Skims and I have linked all of my favorites down below. All right, let's get dressed. I'm so excited to be in Milan. I'm gonna like practice my Italian, so please don't judge me, okay? I haven't been here in nine years. All right guys, so I got myself together. Still got a little gloss here. I'm gonna show you the look. And then I'm gonna head out. I only brought three fragrances for this entire trip. I brought the Maison Francis Kirk Dijon Aqua Media. I love how fresh this smells. I bought Brown Girl Jane Casablanca. This smells very velvety, vanilla-y, sweet, yummy. And then I brought my J-Lo Promise because I told y'all that this smells amazing. So we're gonna go with this one today. I might take a coat because it's a little bit chilly, maybe. I can't remember. But I did bring a little uh, coat or a jean jacket from the Frankie shop. Let me close this so you guys can see, which is really cute. It has like shoulder pads in it. So it'll go well with my dress. Let me show you the look and then we are out. Okay, so hopefully you can see me. Thank goodness there is a full length mirror in this place. But this is the dress from Cos. It is a strapless dress. A very kind of light fabric but it also has pockets super chic and I just paired it with my Fendi slides and I'm gonna toss on this Frankie shop denim jacket this is one size fits all and that's gonna be the look all right so that is the full look very chill for an evening of sightseeing I'm not even gonna put on any earrings I don't think I'm gonna grab my Bottega bag and we are out of here. 
I'll be sure to link this dress. I ended up going with a size eight. I'm normally a six, but the six was kind of tight up here. Like it really dug into my skin and I didn't like that. So I went up a size and I like it. I think it's perfect for Milan. Let's go.
Hey y'all. It is a, a brand new day. Sorry I haven't been like updating you all regularly. Um, but yesterday was just a sightsee window shop day. I ended up walking over to the Duomo where I ran into Bruce Glenn <laughs> of all people. I mean, I knew they were going to be in town because they are showing at the Fashion Hub here at Milan Fashion Week, but it was just so crazy. I walked up to the Duomo and they were both right there. <laughs> and they were like, Monroe! And it was so nice to see them. I attended their show during New York Fashion Week um, and they are making the rounds. They're doing like a tour with their most recent collection. So uh, make sure to watch my New York Fashion Week vlog too to see their collection. It's so colorful and fun. I told them I wanted to borrow a few pieces. So I can't wait till they get back stateside so I can get a hold of that lookbook and create some content with their amazing looks. And also buy some pieces as well when the clothing comes out next year. So that is how Fashion Week works. Like the things that we're seeing now will be like retail six months from now. So you kind of can get a jump start on what the trends are going to be ahead of time and things. And that's why a lot of fashion influencers kind of keep up with the shows and what's dropping so we kind of have a head start to know what's trending next season and such but yeah that was fun i did a little bit of window shopping i popped into the new gucci over at the galleria the galleria is like a little beautiful shopping area it has a, like a glass ceiling cathedral dome which is so beautiful and they have all of the designer stores they have Saint Laurent they have Gucci they have Prada um lots of people taking photos it's literally right next to the Duomo um cathedral um, and so I popped into Gucci and I tried on some sunglasses and I think I'm going to go back today and get those. Um, didn't really go into any other places. Uh, and then we, I actually met up with, uh, Janae of Hilo Lux, um, and her husband and the Yusufs and, uh, we had dinner or like a little nightcap last night on this beautiful street. Uh, and we just had such a good conversation, just catching up, talking about life and about, <sighs> how hard it can be as a content creator when you're really trying to get to like a certain level and how there's so many just roadblocks along the way. Um, but I'm glad that I have them to talk to about these kinds of things because sometimes, you know, people don't understand who are not a part of like this kind of influencer community and the level that we're all trying to get to and achieve, you know? The, the level where we're being dressed by the brands and we're sitting front row at the brands that we work with all the time. Uh, for me, that's like, you know, I work with Dior Beauty. I work with, I've worked in the past with Prada and it's, um, I love working with those brands. I just have never gotten the opportunity to like attend any of their shows. So it's like trying to break through barriers, you know, and it can be difficult because some brands want to keep, you know, the, the face of what they look like, what they represent a certain way. And it's taking everything for um, women of color to break through these barriers. Although it looks like, you know, we're all like striving and doing well. And we are. Um, speaking for myself, I am. But there, there are goals that we would like to achieve that are just very hard <laughs> and that's all i'll say about that i don't want to start a huge thing but yeah milan fashion week for me is not really fashion week it's more like a, <laughs> a vacation because i don't have a lot of things happening here but i just wanted to come and kind of like reestablish myself that i will be attending in the future and kind of make some connections here um i do have a jimmy Choo presentation and i think another presentation um so yeah i'm about to go shopping for real for real today i'm not gonna forget my passport <laughs> today which is what i did yesterday and plus by the time um i got to the stores they all kind of started to close so yeah starting early today I'm gonna head to like a very famous shopping street and check out Saint Laurent, Givenchy um i actually want to pop into the zara here as well because i heard it's really good so we're just gonna relax, you know? We're gonna eat our way through Milan. <laughs> so I'm quickly doing an everyday makeup look. You guys would have seen my Get Ready With Me featuring all of my favorite Zara products. This list contoured stick is one of them. Black owned business also contains 
hyaluronic acid so it's giving your skin all the good stuff while giving you a balm contour and glow you can use it as a bronzer as well i'll link this down below but if you want to know everything i use like literally from skincare i broke down every single product i use for skincare and every single product i use for makeup in my chatty get ready with me like sephora haul video so yeah if you want to know every single thing i use definitely head to the, the description box of that video and yeah i literally use all those products that is such a good contour so yeah um i was gonna go to the iceberg show like i don't have an invite but i was just gonna go i believe um janae and the uses went this morning but i woke up too late <laughs> the show was at i believe nine and y'all i'm still on new york time like right now i think it's like noon which means it's like four o'clock in the morning no no, no. six o'clock in the morning yeah it's six o'clock in the morning in new york <laughs> so i would have had to wake up at like 2 p 2 a.m new york time and they've already been here for a few days so they're like acclimated but i'm not <laughs> i was even late down for breakfast today um yeah anyway. let me quickly finish up my makeup because I didn't get to really talk to you guys yesterday. But we're shopping today. I'm going to show you the sites. I'll show you what I buy. I'll show you my outfit. This bathroom is so stunning. I love it. I love it here. And then we will be out. Alright guys. Hopefully you can see me. But here is the look. I'm wearing this local European uh, little tank top here. The pants are Citizens of Humanity from uh, My Teresa, very chill. And then I just have on my Fendi slides again. Gonna carry my Bottega Jody in the largest size. They have a great um, inspired by bag like this at Anthropology. I just put on some Dior Lip Glow Oil and the Berry. I'm gonna grab some sunglasses. And that's the look for today. Hopefully it's I don't need a jacket, but we'll see. By the way, today's fragrance is Brown Girl Jane Casablanca. It smells amazing. I think I'm actually gonna, I put all of my sunglasses in this bag. And I think today, should we go red with the Saint Laurent? I think so, red and gold for today.
switched over to my phone because it's more conspicuous or is it inconspicuous anywho i'm here at this little uh dg pop-up restaurant which is cool we ran into some people on the street and they were like you guys have to go there the food is amazing so i'm here in their bathroom <laughs> and about to eat um but yeah i've just been doing some window shopping today nothing major i did buy a few things from Saint Laurent. oh here's the bathroom by the way if you wanted to take a little look see at it it's my look yeah so i'm gonna eat power up and do some more shopping another day in Milano at the beautiful Vico Milano Hotel um, for the first time we I had breakfast downstairs which was really nice um, the presentation is beautiful and the food is really good um, they bring you a little bit of fruit like a bread basket meats cheeses different assortments of jellies and juices I had a pear juice that was so good y'all mm, i need that every day anywho i got myself together a little bit more glam today wearing the fenty mvp lip um because i want to take a photo like i've literally done hardly any content since i've been here in fact i've been working <laughs> the whole time i've been here getting campaigns up all of the ones i showed you guys in the previous videos so yeah sometimes i have to like stay up until midnight to post at a certain time like east coast time which is midnight here so yeah i've just been working quite a bit so today will be a bit of leisure although i do need to post a sponsor post again tonight at midnight so yeah today uh want to head to the fashion hub which sorry if you can hear voices there are a lot of people in the hallway um today we're head heading to the fashion hub which is right across from the Duomo and they have a few designers showing there and this is open to the public like anyone can go to this so I definitely want to check that out and then it's going to be a museum day go check out some art the museum is actually right next to the Duomo uh, and then I might do a little bit of shopping tonight uh, we're heading to dinner at Nobu uh, it is my girl Amira's birthday she's actually a stylist based in the US I met her at 
a par not a party i met her at a fashion show a few seasons ago sammy b had a fashion show at a caribbean restaurant and she was there and i thought she was just so fly and i've been following her ever since but like when i was getting on my flight here i saw her <laughs> and so she's here she's doing a bit of work doing a bit of her styling work i believe um, but it's her birthday today and she's here basically alone so i um, gonna take her out to dinner tonight to celebrate so that should be fun and that's all we are doing today tomorrow we have a presentation with Jimmy Choo and I believe another presentation as well and yeah that's pretty much it so I'm gonna shoot take a few photos in the outfit I wore yesterday oh I did buy a few things let me show you guys okay so I bought quite a few things in Saint Laurent they have a flagship store here uh yesterday we went shopping on like the main shopping street I forgot the name of it but I did like get a clip of it um and it has all the stores like literally every store you can imagine we went to Hermes and they had a little jewelry showing um in collaboration i can't remember the name but it was pretty cool and they let us film in there which was amazing because normally they don't let you film in hermes but i went in looking for like some furry or some shirling orans and they didn't have any like none no orans at all so i think they said they're getting their fall collection in soon but by then i'll be gone so anywho went to saint laurent i'm only going to show you one thing that i bought i'm going to show the other thing in my what i bought during fashion month video but you guys already probably know what's in this box if you've been watching my vlogs you've seen this i wanted it and i came to milan to get it uh 12.5 percent discounted that is the return that back on goods here in milan which is actually five percent better than paris so if you're coming to europe it's worth it to shop in milan versus paris because the vat is or the refund is more so it comes in this little box <sighs> comes in this little bag i think you guys know what it is because i showed it in another vlog but i waited to get it while i was here because it's of course cheaper i did it i got the little cage bag from ysl it's so cute so I only have one red bag. Do I have one red bag? Yes, it's from Ferragamo. Um, but I wanted a red clutch. Anytime, you know, I wear like an all black look or a red lip, I could just pair it with this bag. So I got the Cage YSL bag. This is a runway piece. It also comes in black. And it also comes in a, a really pretty blue as well. And it's just a little cage with the YSL on it. It has the two like button clasp and a leather strap. I believe, can you remove this strap? No, you, the strap you cannot remove, but you can put it inside the bag and just hold the bag like a clutch. But I love it. And it does fit an iPhone, just in case you are wondering. Any um, size of an iPhone, it will fit. So I can put my iPhone in here and all of my miscellaneous things I need for at night. So she is going out for her first outing tonight when we go to Nobu. I have an outfit that I plan to wear around this beautiful bag. But you guys, you know what? I need another red shoe. I have one from Aldo, but I, I left it in New York. And I have kind of like an orangey red heel from Alaya, but it doesn't match this. Like I need a fire engine red shoe. So that's what I'm going to be looking for when I'm in Paris or even here to go with this bag. So that's what I got. I'm actually going to wear this in my picture today. I think it'll be cute. Um, I will check back in with you guys when we are heading out. Oh, by the way, you guys already know I had these Saint Laurent sunglasses with the red at the top, gold on the side. I think I'm going to go with these to match the bag. And then put on my gold Saint Laurent earrings, which I do have. It's just like a Saint Laurent moment, you know? It's a moment. All right, guys. I'll check back in when we are heading out to... I think we'll probably hit up the fashion hub first and then the museum.
right guys we went downstairs for a little cappuccino and I wanted to shoot that look so now that that's done I'm gonna head to the fashion hub and to the museum this is my look still got on the same Saint Laurent sunglasses these are actually pretty affordable when it comes to designer sunglasses um, Louis Vuitton earrings I have on this Express shirt the jacket is YSL I got these leggings from Uniqlo and then I have on my Loewe denim boots it's kind of drizzly and rainy today so just went with an all black look of course I have my Bottega Jody bag which has been coming in pretty handy and the lip is Fenty MVP yeah so this is going to be the look for just a day of chilling pretty much and being cultured yeah by the way there's this cute little like mirror situation in the room right on the stairs here so i can kind of show you my outfit on the stairs as well but i'm gonna grab a spare battery because i've actually been filming you know a little bit of this trip for you guys even though i've been on my phone quite a bit too um i'm gonna head out Alright guys, just left the Starbucks Resortory. Anywho, they were making coffee in there. It was pretty cool. So now we are over at the Fashion Hub. I'm gonna go inside, see what they have. Everyone is looking at my boots. I love that for me.
So I'm back at the hotel. I'm in my room. So cute. I, the light is good up here. I need to film up here more often. You can see my shoes all lined up there, which I haven't even worn yet because really I had nothing to do here in Milan. Okay, so we started off the day at Starbucks, you know, where they actually like make the coffee. I vaguely knew that these places existed, but it was cool. I ended up showing you guys a bit of it. Um, got a pumpkin spice latte with oat milk. It was delicious. Um, by the way, I'm gonna address this little dark mark on my nose. <laughs> I was in some kind of accident, not really. One of these little things on my shower rod popped off and hit me here. And it caused like a little damage. It was like red for like two days and then it turned black. So it's healing. So that's what that is. Don't worry, it's unfortunate for me <laughs> during fashion month to have this thing on my nose, but I can cover it up pretty good with makeup, but after a while, it'll rub off. Anywho, so yeah, after that, what did I do? Oh yeah, went to the museum and checked out some art. It was pretty cool, it's the Museum del Novento, which is really like right next to the Duomo. It's not the Duomo Museum, although there is a Duomo Museum, it's right next to that. And that was pretty cool. Oh wait, after that, we actually went to the Fashion Hub. And I showed you guys all of like the designers there. Bruce Glenn has a, um, their collection shown there. And a lot of the people who are shown are like smaller indie brands um, that just need you know, promotion. And yeah, I got to actually meet a few of the designers. There was a lot of black designers there as well that were showing, which is great, especially to be here in Milan. It's really cool. And I actually ran into Bruce Glenn for the second time in this vlog. They were there getting off the elevator and I got to see them with their collection. And there's like three pieces that I want from their collection. So super excited about that. Then I went to the museum and you know, had a little art moment. So I hope you all enjoyed that. There is a bartender here at the hotel. This hotel is super small. Like I said, it only has seven rooms. Um, yeah, so on Thursday nights and Friday nights, they have a bartender come. Most of the time it's an honesty bar where you just pour your own drinks. Um, but yeah, there's a bartender here and I think they're gonna be here for the next two hours. So gonna head down, get a specialty cocktail, just chill for a bit catch up on my Instagram stories and uh, chill until we go out to dinner tonight. We're going to Nobu for my girl um, Amira's birthday. So it should be fun. Uh, your girl is tired, okay? Tired. Uh, but today was cool. I really, really enjoyed going to the fashion hub. And like I said, again, that's open to the public, it's free. So if you're ever in Milan during fashion week, you can pop in, walk through, see all the collections and the designers. But yeah, let's head down and have a drink. And then I will pop back in when I'm dressed and ready for tonight, which I'm excited about because I haven't been, ever been out that late at night in Milan, so yeah. And to be at Nobu and like all the people are in town, the girls are in town. It's gonna be popping. So I wanna give y'all something since I'm not <laughs> going to many shows if like I'm going to zero fashion shows, just like the fashion hub and presentations. So I wanna give y'all something in this Milan vlog, some kind of fashions. But you know, sometimes it's just a vacation, you know? All right guys, I will check in with you when I'm getting a drink. And then when I get dressed, I'm very excited about my outfit tonight, by the way. I'll check in soon.
y'all. So took a quick nap, had an excellent drink made by a bartender downstairs at the little hotel bar. It was delicious. It had a little bit of Negroni in it and I don't really like Negroni, but he put Prosecco in it, some kind of cherry sauce and it was delicious. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just came up these stairs, but I got myself together. We are heading to dinner at Nobu to celebrate Amira's birthday. I'm wearing my Tiffany earrings, Dior blush in the color cherry, MVP on my lip, my Saint Laurent jacket, this really cool dress by Jean-Paul Gaultier, has a little figure on it, and then my brand new red YSL cage bag that I got here for 12.5% discount, period. Um, and then the shoes, I went with my Saint Laurent lace up heels. I'll show you guys better in the hallway. I can set you up and kind of show you my entire look. So let's go. Okay guys, hopefully you can see me. I'm being quiet because I don't know if anyone else is asleep, but here's the fit. maybe it's better over here everything's linked down below let's go Hey y'all, it's a new day. Um, today I am heading to the Jimmy Choo presentation, which should be really fun. I'll show you my outfit in a sec. But last night uh, we went to dinner at Nobu and the food was so good. You guys, it was delicious. I really enjoyed the experience. Um, so we went to Nobu to celebrate Amira's birthday and she's here in Milan doing some work. Um, some styling work so we had a nice little kiki talked about life ate yeah and that was the evening so yeah i got myself together today just did my everyday makeup look the earrings are the swarovski yellow earrings i'm gonna show you the outfit and then we're gonna head to the jimmy choo presentation and then i think find somewhere to get lunch because i'm hungry so let me turn you guys around, show you the look. All right, hopefully you can see me, but I'm wearing this MSGM sweater. I've had it for a long time. I actually got it from a Rent the Runway sample sale and they're having a show today, I believe. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this. The skirt is like this little uh, knitted skirt that I got from my Teresa. You would have seen it in my preparing for fashion month haul and i just like the look of wearing this you could definitely wear this as like a beach cover-up um, but the sweater is long enough to cover up all of the things it has a little slit here on the side for the shoes i went with my uh, loewe balloon sandals because they're nice conversation starters and then my ferragamo red bag to kind of bring out the red in the sweater 
And I also have on a red lip, the Fenty um, MVP. And that is the look for today. Let's go to Jimmy Choo. It is raining, so I'm just going to go there and just come right back. Uh, so, yeah, that's the look. I'm here with Janae of Hyla Lux. <laughs> well, just Janae Naylor now. Get it period. right. With a period and an exclamation point. <laughs> and I would like to ask you, what did you think of the Jimmy Choo show? Which was your favorite shoe? Oh, well, you'll pop up pictures, yeah? Sure. Okay. Um, my favorite, oh, actually, let me get my notes. Uh, hmm, hold, uh, please. Someone made. Well, not made. I want to be able to reference things. <clears throat> the bags. Oh, they're, they had good bags. They're doing their big one with the bags. This in particular. I um, didn't even see that. Uh, gorgeous. I need the black and gold. I love I it. I mean, I do feel like a lot of the bags were like, hey, we know this is popular. We can do that too. Like with the crystals and um, the top handle. But like, like that's this is giving cute. Ferragamo a little bit. So they have a an east-west bag. Yeah. Like I said, you guys, east-west east yeah, yeah. bags are in right now. The longer, yeah. rectangular and shape they gave bags. us a little pouch, which I... I love the pouch. With this gold detail, like this is giving a Bottega. It's super cute. But, but it's just, gorgeous. It's, it's, but it's, it's a more classic. And it is. It is. With the so it's still their take. So um, she's filling the bags. I'm filling it. And then they had a lot of new shoe styles, which personally, I feel like they needed. Cause I agree. We were kind of like we're over the getting the same the interpretations. The it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. So these 
new shoe shape. This I love little those. Mule. I could definitely see you in those. They're a, a white mule with a little like triangular cutout. Gorgeous. And I like the new heel heel shape that looks like a teardrop. Mm -hmm. Very cool. She said it was supposed to be like water dripping. Yeah, down. like a water drop. And then it like puddles. Yeah, at it's the cool. Gives you more support. Yeah, so it's a stiletto without being Stiletto so in. tiny of a stiletto that it's gonna get caught in every little crack in these Melanie streets. And then these were gorgeous. I She's love giving Scaparelli. Very much so. <laughs> it's a, a beautiful but black again, sandal a with elegant, like more elegant. flower motifs and gold yeah. and like silver almost. Very like artsy. That was a lot and it, it was, was good. Lot. Yeah. I was, because the last presentation was um, a lot of again, reimagining the classics things that are selling well like yeah. let's do that again in a bunch of different colors so this one was kind of like i think there was one room of the same and yeah. everything else was new go ahead jimmy chu go ahead jimmy i'll Chum. be spending some money next, next spring that. lots of cute flats too yeah they had a dad's handle in black and white of course i love a dad's handle yeah in a, in a white canvas and they had a lot of loafers and is this thing on <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to get copyrighted. I would like for this video to be monetized. Mm. We need to make that shoe money. Somebody's got to pay for this trip. Somebody has to pay for the shoes, okay? The shoes. And the hotels. Yes, indeed. Hello. It's a vlogception. <laughs> Say hi, friends. Say, what do you call these Hello, people? kings and queens. And hey, y'all. <laughs> I just call my people y'all for now. Everyone is sending me, like, their recommendations. They what said I should so call far? them stilettos. Pumps, like steel lettos and then Steelers, but that's a that's a football team. So I don't like that. Hey, Steelers. I was thinking like Darling because I do say Darling a you lot. Do. But I don't know. Hey, what do you guys think of Darlings? Let me know. Or is it even necessary? Is it? Yeah. I, I don't know that. when at what point I started saying. Hey queens. queens. I don't know. Everyone knows. I'm a queen. You but it just again it's something it has to feel like you. Or yeah. like natural. Like that just and I don't have anything Rolled yet, off the you tongue. guys. I don't. I just. I gotta. I gotta think. Mm, I gotta think good. because it's gonna be stuck forever. I well, can never change you, it. Yeah, I absolutely can. <laughs> <laughs> this is a free country. <laughs> this is true. So now I'm heading to Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Zulotti. I've been invited. And as I a, they're my friends there. I feel like you know, they're like one of the few brands that I'm like happy to <laughs> attend since I've given you all nearly no fashion contents sorry about that um Who's next week vibes? next week <laughs> paris i got you milan we were just here for the wine milan's got us the one <laughs> <laughs>
right guys so that was an eventful evening i went to the jimmy choo show and they have some really amazing footwear coming um and also bags janae and i also chatted about what we love from the collection i really do love their flats they have these beautiful teardrop heels which are stunning like uh, pointy toed heels and sandals and of course these works of art with like little flower motifs and gold on black satin stunning so i look forward to those you guys know i'm a shoe girl <laughs> i am so afterwards i went with janae to the giuseppe um presentation which was incredible they had these brown satin three strap with crystals sandals that were stunning i love their chocolate brown sandals um, they also have a really good new platform coming and it's hard for a platform to be like delicate and sexy without being chunky and just overpowering but they made it work they have them in gold they have them in metallics they also have them in a black satin which i just love the heel is tall and thin but it kind of flares out at the bottom. It's a beautiful shape for a platform. So I'm looking forward to those. Um, everyone at the team was super nice. And then on our way out, we saw Kanye West and Jaden Smith and uh, Jordan Woods. So yeah, it was hard kind of getting out because of Kanye. He was very nice. I ended up taking some photos, some selfies with him <laughs> and Janae and I. Um, I'll pop those in so you guys can see. But yeah, we had a fun time, a fun evening. So now I'm just heading back to my hotel. I'm gonna rest for the rest of the day, get some food. And tomorrow, I think we might do a little vintage shopping and that'll be it for the Milan vlog. But everyone liked my outfit today. I loved it. And yeah, that's pretty much a little sum up. I think I'm gonna go to KFC and see how it tastes in Milan. You guys know I have a little thing about going to KFC in every like country that I visit. So far, Paris has the best KFC, followed by Barbados, um, followed by St. Kitts. So we'll see if Milan knocks any country off, you know, the mark when it comes to KFC. I'll let you guys know tomorrow, but I'll see you then. Hey y'all. So after the show, I came back home to glow nap. Had a little nightcap here at the hotel. There's a bartender here that made some delicious, refreshing drinks. Um, but I got myself together. I am going to dinner with everyone. Janae, Josh, uh, the Yusufs. We're all meeting at this place called, I believe it's called the Dome Milano, but it's right over by the Duomo. It overlooks the Piazza. Uh, so it should be really nice. It's their last night here. I believe they leave tomorrow. And they're not going to Paris. So I'm going to be alone. <laughs> Just kidding. There will be quite a few of my friends in Paris. And of course, Maria is meeting me there. But we're headed out. I'm going to show you guys my look in just a minute. I'm wearing this Roberto Cavalli dress. You would have seen it before in plenty of the Miami vlogs. But I'm trying to wear like Italian designers that since, you know, we're in Italy. Um, I have on my Magna Boutram heels. I think I'm just gonna wear my Bottega bag and throw on my Saint Laurent jacket. And hopefully I'll get some photos in this look for you guys to post on Instagram. But it should be a nice dinner. It's like a very like dressed up farewell dinner. I'm gonna bring my little Polaroid camera and take some pictures with everyone. This is like an instant camera. I got this from a brand too. Uh, so if you're looking for one of these, I will link a few down below. They're great for traveling, for vacation, just to create memories that aren't in your phone. All right, guys. So let me finish getting myself together and I will check in on the way out. All right, guys, here's my look. Can you see me? I've linked it below because I'm late.
my last day in Milano. I went up or I went down and I had breakfast today and now I got myself ready. It is about, let's see, it is about 11 o'clock, which means it's 5 a.m. in New York. Um, I'm about to go shopping and also I'm gonna go to the Global Blue Lounge and do my um, like returns for like my refunds, the VAT, which they have a little lounge here. I did the same thing in Paris. But first I wanna get my shopping done before I do that. I was thinking of doing like a little vintage shopping today as well. There's one not too far from the hotel called Bavio, I believe. But I'm heading to Duomo Shopping Mall. I actually never knew there was a mall there with like floors where you go inside and there's different stores. I just knew of all of the designer stores like in the Galleria. So I wanna go check that out because they have a Celine. And there are these Celine sunglasses that I've been wanting. And if I can get them here for a discount, like better than in Paris and anywhere else, then I wanna get them. So I'll show you guys the look, putting on a little bit of the Dior Lip Glow Oil. You can use my code, Monroe23, all capital letters, for a free gift with purchase over $125 at Dior. And sorry if I'm not looking directly at you guys, I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror. And I've been loving it here. It's been a cool like experience. I only did a few presentations in the fashion hub and just hung out with my girl. Oh, sorry, my battery died. Um, like I was saying, I just hung out with my girls, did some shopping. I went to Jimmy Choo, Giuseppe. I went to the fashion hub. That was about it. Um, Paris has a lot more like actual runway shows. So yeah, that vlog will be a little more action packed, whereas this one was more cultural. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to show you guys my look, I'm wearing my little Celine. I actually wore this the other day. I don't know if I sh showed you guys though. I'll show you guys the look. But uh, right now, just packing up my bag. I was able to take a few little photos with my disposable camera, but I'm going to save some for Paris because that will be super fun. Of course, I need to take my passport because we're doing some shopping and I'm going to want my little vet back. Um... Let's see, let's see. Look at the photos I've taken so far. Like I took a few of them of like the Duomo. Super cool. Yeah, maybe I'll take my camera because I feel like I need like one more memory. But this little camera is kind of heavy and plus I'm taking y'all too. Trying to see. I have so many lip glow oils in my bag. But trying to see which sunglasses I'm gonna wear today. I think I'm gonna do my Versace ones. All right, so I think we're finished up here. I'm just uploading a video to YouTube for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. I think it uploaded already, let me check. Is it up? Yep, check's complete, no issues found, so I can work on that later. Pop you guys off this tripod, and we are gonna head down and finish getting dressed i think i'm gonna wear sneakers today but yeah i love this hotel everyone here is super nice everyone who's been watching my instagram stories and has seen how stunning this place is wants to know where i'm staying um but i'm not gonna post it until i leave of course but here is my fit for today yeah, so here's my fit for today. I'm wearing my Ray pants from uh, Matches Fashion. I also have these in white. They're giant front pleat trousers and I got them in a 42, I believe. My little Celine bralette. Have my Bottega bag. I'm gonna toss on my Saint Laurent jacket, which I've been wearing nonstop. <laughs> Look at this Saint Laurent box. I already showed you guys what I got, which was this bag which I've been wearing a lot as well. But yeah, I don't know if I even showed you guys all of this. I mean, I feel like I just hit the ground running as soon as I got here. But yeah, that's gonna be the look. I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll show you the final look probably out in the hallway like I've been doing. And then we will head off to do a little bit of shopping. Last day here in Milan. 
All right, guys, so this is the vibe for today. I went with my Saint Laurent sunglasses with the silver at the top. These are actually pretty affordable um, when it comes to designer sunglasses, so I'll link them. I put on my Celine sneakers, this little Celine bralette that I don't wear enough. I also have it in black. We'll take a bag. And that is the look for just a chill last day of shopping. All right, guys, so happy the sun came out. Ugh. How cool is my hotel? Look at this little courtyard. It's stunning. I wanna put you guys down somewhere so I can show you my outfit. Um, maybe here? I feel like this is too tall. I have to step way far back, but let's do it. So we have made it to Paris. Don't worry, the Paris Fashion Week vlog is coming, but I wanted to close out the Milan vlog. Milan was such a fun time. It's been nine years since I've gone. Um, I got to check out the Fashion Hub, the Jimmy Choo Show, um, the Giuseppe Zanotti Show. I got to hang out with my friends, check out some culture, go to the museum, go shopping. It was amazing. Um, and <laughs> I went to the mall 
and I literally bumped into Maria Teresa Lopez. I wear her sandals all the time. Um, I met her in Miami. She has been living her best life in Europe all summer and literally we just happened to bump into each other at the mall, which I didn't even know that Milan had that mall, but definitely check it out because it's great because all of the stores are there. Um, and yeah, we ended up having a beautiful lunch uh, and just catching up and chatting and yeah, that was pretty much it for Milan. It was a great, I think I was there for five days. It was wonderful. I have linked every place I went, all the things I did, all the things I wore down below in the description bar. So the next time you're in Milan, you can check those places out. Of course, I got so many questions about Vico Milano Hotel. I believe it's only like two years old, but it is stunning, breathtaking. There's only seven rooms, so you gotta be on it. Um, but I enjoyed my time there as well and I highly recommend it. It is just a quick, you know, 10, 15 minute walk to uh, the Duomo and wonderful shopping on that street. In fact, two doors down, there is a vintage store with like vintage bags like Chanel. I didn't go in there y'all. Well, I did go in there, but I didn't buy anything. So, so yeah, I've linked everything down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed today's video, do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And stay tuned, we in Paris and we got a, a pretty eventful schedule. It's gonna be a fun one. And yeah, I'll see you there. Well, we're here, but you know what I mean. See you soon.